Buffalo's, this is new ground that's being broke for most people because our only understanding of what you would call psychedelics, which means mind manifesting, in other words, it manifests the mind. Um, we just know the propaganda that was put out by the United States government on psychedelics in the 1960s, you know, with people like Timothy Leary and uh, Richard Albert and other people who were part of things like the uh, psilocybin um, experiments, early experiments in prison and things like that from Harvard. Uh, so I'm going to talk a little bit about martial arts, a little bit about my background, a little bit uh, about psychedelics in general and mushrooms in particular. Um, mushrooms in particular because they're the oldest of the hallucinogens that we have on planet Earth. <coughs> Different things like salvia <coughs> and oral. Um, you have Hawaiian baby rosewood, you have detouras, you have ayahuasca, you have homa, you have soma. And all of these different plants are hooked to particular cultures and particular places. But we find that mushrooms are the oldest because the mushrooms are the only form of hallucinogen that was encountered by early man and woman that gave a very special experience from the beginning of its ingestion. So, uh, real, real quickly here, we're going to move real quickly. Uh, as I said, we're martial arts. I teach ancient and contemporary African fighting sciences, and that goes into a plethora of different areas. It goes into empty hand fighting, uh, weapons fighting, you know, uh, stick and shield, spear and shield, poison, ritualistic binding, spells, curses, sorcery, all of those different types of things. Um, and the art that I, I teach and practice, uh, one of the arts, the main art is called Saki, which means to contend. Um, we also uh, teach and uh, practice uh, Zulu stick fighting, Ikunilesa, Nduku, Giribu, which is Nigerian form of wrestling, uh, sport wrestling, Eke, which is the traditional fighting system which deals with things like Ofo. Ofo is, uh, it, I guess the best way you can connect it to something is a mantra. In other words, words of power that creates um, a change of environment. Mm -hmm. Whereas you speak a certain thing and it becomes what you have uttered. Mm -hmm. So to get into this real quickly, we're gonna, we're gonna go through it quickly because it's a little bit of a learning curve, it's a little bit of history curve um, that's going to go into, well, let's just start, off-world stuff. <laughs> um, we know that the spores of mushrooms are one of the hardest things in nature. In other words, they approach the hardness of metal. And they're very well suited for the vacuum of, of space. In other words, they can percolate out into the uh, atmosphere, out into, out into space. And they can stay dormant in space for millions and millions and millions of years. Because what activates them is water and, of course, air, an environment with water and air. And since NASA, with the Hubble Space Telescope and other big te telescopes that they're putting up, you ready to put up, have found exoplanets that have water. In other words, what they, what they announced in NASA last week was that it's not whether there are extraterrestrials, it is only when we will encounter them. Mm -hmm. If we have not encountered them already, because everything that is alive or is conscious is not, doesn't have to have two arms and two legs, three there, and be an animal or a plant or whatever. It could be something exotic, and they could be walking right through here or living in the carpet, and we not know it. Um, because we just haven't come to that realization as of yet. Um, Terrence McKenna, who was uh, one of the luminaries in the psychedelic movement, the reemergence of the psychedelic movement, uh, spoke about how mushroom spores 
have their own intelligence. In other words, they're not they're conscious. Mm. Mushrooms are an older form of life form. In other words, we're more closely associated with fungi or mushrooms than we are with any other other kingdoms, whether it be the insect kingdom, whether it be the plant kingdom. We're more closely associated because we have fungal genes. Hmm. You know, from when the, we, we broke off from fungi. 465 million years ago, there was an asteroidal impact in the Yucatan, and at the speed and the size that this thing was going, it was already five miles into the Earth in the first second and a half. It threw up trillions of tons of dust and debris. Killed everything on Earth bigger than a chicken immediately, and everything almost as if rats and roaches died right after that. What happened was this debris that went up into the atmosphere and then eventually settled, it blocked out the sun, destroyed any type of plant life. And fungi ruled, in other words, because fungi don't actually need light. Although people think of toadstools and mushrooms as being poisonous and living in the dark. No, mushrooms actually increase in vitamin D when, you, when they're in the light. But they don't need light to be able to grow. Um, there are many undiscovered mushrooms on the earth that are just coming into the, you know, research of people. Um, those mycologists who study fungi, um, it's just like um, Chernobyl. Um, in Chernobyl, they had an accident with the nuclear reactor. There. The reactor. did the same thing that the one that Fukushima is still doing, which is the one in, <laughs> is still doing another one. So that's, Fukushima is probably the biggest disaster uh, in uh, human times, um, because it's still spewing radiation out into the ocean and things like that, little sidebar. <coughs> but they found that black melanated mushrooms are, are growing inside of the reactors, eating up the radiation and deactivating the radiation mm -hmm. in Chernobyl. Mm -hmm. Um, and these mushrooms grew spontaneously because of the particular circumstances that developed. So they came from where they came from because it wasn't any radiation hotter than that around, and they just came and started eating up the radiation. So what we say is, and what we uh, have done in research is that mushrooms came from outer space.